Hey Justifiers on the 611 welcome back to a new video. And in this video I'm going to be playing a horror game that, I've, that I uh, found on Game Jolt called Aquatica. Um, now, from the description, you this is a, you play as a scuba diver, and um, you, you're basically, you're basically uh, exploring a scuba diver's nightmares. And, uh, things are supposed to get kind of weird, and, um, so let's just jump into this and see, let's see what this is all about, and, uh, I mean, the art style is pretty, pretty cool from what I can tell from the menu, but, um, let's go ahead and get started with this. I had the dream again last night. I'm standing at the shoreline when this woman just rises out of the water. She tells me she needs me, that she's trapped, and I'm the only one who can set her free. I ask her what she means, beg her to tell me where she is. That's when she splits apart. I have no idea who the woman is. I don't understand why I keep seeing her in my dreams, or where I'm supposed to go to set her free. My only clue is to see, if you think me mad, to go chasing phantoms along the ocean floor, then I suppose it would do a little good to tell you what I saw down there. For truly, I fail to completely believe it all myself. Know first that I did not simply wander the depths aimlessly. But I was surely drawn from the surface, captivated by an eerie tune. This siren song only grew louder as I progressed through the briny deep, an audible torchlight to guide me towards that horrible place. All my instincts told me not to go in, but I was captivated by the majesty of the sight in front of me. The freedom ship had been a modern wonder, a veritable floating city. To have simply vanished without a trace had been one of the greatest mysteries of our time. With only minor pause, I made my way to an entrance on the ship's upper deck, and found a door leading to the flooded interior. It's your turn to come inside. Okay. So... Alright, so this went faster. Ah. Okay. This sounds pretty... pretty simple. I like this so far. Oh. No! Oh. oh, I got killed by sharks. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's... nice. So now we're inside the ship, found the creepy lady, and uh, I'm going to try not to get eaten this time. What is that? Oh, that's a... oops. Okay, well, I was stuck on a light. That was wonderful. Ugh! What was that? Ugh! <laughs> I got attacked by some kind of mutant thing. Ew! <laughs> I don't think I wanna... No, I'm not going back up there. Nope. Nope. No thanks. I'm not going back up there with Frankenfish. <laughs> no thank you. To not become the fishy's lunch. Never moving helps a bunch. But if your death provides no worry, then hurry, hurry, super scurry. Okay. Okay, so that's a clue for the fish. The giant fish up there. Okay, so if as long as I don't move, the fish won't 
eat me? Is that how that... Is that how that works? Okay, what the heck. Why is this being super laggy right now? Okay, hold on, hold on a minute, guys. I don't know why that's being super laggy, hold on. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had to completely restart it. And, uh, because it started lagging on me for some stupid reason, so... <laughs> Bad freaking fish. Nope. Bad freaking fish, go away. Ugh. Oh, I think I'm... Oh, I thought I was stuck. I was about to say... That's not good. Ah! Really? You freaking fish. I'm not even gonna worry about getting the note because I already know what I need to do. Okay, so I have to wait for it to swim past me. That's beautiful. There's not much I can really do. To access the something, press menu. I don't, I don't know what it, what it, I don't know how to get to the menu. I don't know what it was telling me to press to access the menu. Okay, so, there goes the siren again. Is this, I don't know what it is to access the menu. I don't really care at the moment. Okay, maybe. Ooh, yay! Ay, ay, ay. Bad fish. Go away, fishy. Shoot you in your butt. Squiggle, squiggle. Is he gonna come my way again? Eee! Hi! This one done. Get away from the swim past. Ugh. Get away from me, Franken fish. No thanks. No thank you. I'm good. I be good. Ugh. Hopefully I don't get eaten by anything. What? What was that? Ugh. Not like that. Oh, 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 oh. What was that? I just saw this one by. Ooh! Where'd that open? Oh. <laughs> so far I'm really liking this. <laughs> I just... Oh, oh, I tore myself in half. Okay, that's beautiful. Okay, that's beautiful. I seem to have ripped myself in half. That's wonderful. So now I have to... Crushes me. Uh, God, I can't believe I'm so in half. And I'm gonna die, aren't I? Okay, maybe not. Oh, okay, so. I am whole again. How is that even? How is that even possible? I mean, what is up with all these floaty things? Mash X to break free of enemies. Okay. Ah ah ah! Oh 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 no 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 no! Okay, so I got attacked by a skeleton. That's beautiful. Everything is wanting to kill me in this. Let go of me, let go, me. let go of me, let go of me, you're disgusting. You're disgusting skeleton. Squiggle, 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 squiggle. Let's squiggle this way. Oh, what was 
that. I was hoping that I didn't have to fight that nasty crustacean thing. Looked like a giant mutant shrimp. Whatever it was. Oh, oh, what? 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 I'm, 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 I'm stuck on this rock. I'm supposed to get off of this rock. Ugh. So I wasn't supposed to get off the rock. I looked in your eyes, yes. This is Ew. a fear I have since before. But how can this be? Only the people of the tides is capable of such manipulation. What have you done to my precious time to fish? Another diver. Hi. As I drew the flesh, I secretly prayed to the Lord of the Dead. When I had first caught sight of the beast on the days prior, there was no question in my mind that its defeat would take more strength than I alone could possess. With the aid of the spirits trapped aboard the doomed vessel, I managed to manipulate the powers of the timekeeper fish, and in doing so, I created a doppelganger myself only two days in the past. Trapped in a time before I discovered a ship, my double would need the help of the imprisoned spirits to guide the way. It was up to me to make sure it survived long enough to draw the creature's focus unto itself, giving me the opening I needed to strike. As for the static incident, I hope you don't take it to heart. Given the phenomenon that took place down there, I was in no mood to take chances with the unexplainable. I figured it wasn't natural, two copies of the same person walking around, and I did what I felt I needed to to survive. <laughs> you know, it's true what they say, right? You never really know what you're capable of. And I sat down there eating raw fish and breathing out of air pockets for two days, waiting for you to show up. And now, here I am, talking to my own remains, generated through some kind of time travel sequence. They'd think me mad if they were to see me now. And who knows? Given the circumstances, they just might be right. Ugh. Nasty squishy noises. Oh, fabulous. Uh, I need a new hobby. Oh, so that was the end of the game. Okay. Well, that was actually a very entertaining game. That was yeah, I liked Aquatica. That was that was very very nice. And that was a very nice refreshing game to play. 
um, it did, <laughs> it was a little creepy, and it, it did, uh, did give me the creeps a little bit, um, and I can, I can definitely see how this would be scary for someone who doesn't, who's not a big fan of water, of being underwater for long periods of time, and also claustrophobia, but, um, but yeah, that was a fantastic game, I actually liked that, even though it was very short, and you didn't really have to fight much, it was more of an interactive, uh, story than anything, but, um, I really liked that, I really, really liked that, that was really cool. Anyways, guys, I hope that you guys have enjoyed me playing Aquatica, I did, I'm the Pressure 611, I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.